everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and today I wanted to come on here and show you the photo scanner that I used. It was in my crop room tour that I showed a couple weeks ago and I got a few requests to complete a tutorial on the scanner and how quickly it is. I will link below the link to Amazon where to purchase it. It is I think about $200 so it is a little pricey but I think it is probably the best scanner in the entire world. So I wanna show you guys just a quick tutorial on how I use it. So let me flip the camera around and we'll get started. So I was just given a bunch of older photos to scan and I wanna show you some of these photos. Let's see if I can find the one that I scan. I'm gonna scan one photo in here. This is uh, so that you guys can see how it works. So this is the photo that I just scanned along with the other ones that are there. And let me get out of this system real quick. And so I can show you. So I'm going to scan this photo here. It scans up to 50 photos at a, at a time. So one right after the other. Very, very quick. You can go through it. That I believe is number 50. So that's all I could do. So I just scanned all of these. It took me less than a couple minutes to get those all scanned. And then you get, sorry about the turnaround guys. You get this program that comes with it and what's great about it is that you can go in and crop the photo so let me show you side by side what that looks like very older photo definitely yellow tinted wasn't cared for very well and look at that like this thing brings it right back and it's super simple I'm going to show you guys the next photo that I have which is the one that I just scanned so I have this photo here you can see it's very similar on the screen. I haven't changed it yet. Sometimes with these oddball size photos, I don't even know what this is. Maybe a, maybe it's a five by seven. It's definitely not a four by six. But with those odd size photos, sometimes it makes it a little difficult to get it the accurate. So I will go in here and I'm going to crop it. simple as just dragging it over it crops it down and then all I'm gonna do over here on the right quick fix I'm gonna select exposure and white balance sometimes I do the optimization I usually don't like that one so I go ahead and take that out and that is it I can go in and save so I'm gonna do another one this is uh, an older older photo of, and these photos were definitely not well cared for we I uh, have been in charge of getting them scanned and on but you can see that it's like these photos are just really bad in bad shape but I want to get them at least on the computer so that they don't continue to get even worse but look at that I mean I know that that stuff is there and these like I said these photos are bad but do you see the color I'm gonna do undo look at the color between that yellow and the white I mean it's true color so let me do one more this is a polaroid so i'm going to go in trying to uh, i'm going to crop it it's hard to do this well <laughs> one hand holding the camera and one hand trying to see it so i apply and then again my quick fixes i'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see it so quick fixes exposure and white balance and this one's a little bit this one's actually not as bad because it's not i don't think as old as some of the other ones so let me find one that might be a good one. It also does black and white. That's look how bad that photo is. Oh, I feel so bad for these photos because here's another one. I'm going to crop it just simply because it's these photos oh, should be in scrapbooks. This is like the perfect reason why we should be taking care of our photos. So exposure, white balance. Look at that difference seriously the best $200 that I've ever spent let me see if I, I've got to go through all of these so but I just want to see if I can find some ones that are going to show a huge look at that orange photo and I'm going to crop it so I did this process for uh, Kevin and his family when his grandmother passed away she was, we were given a shoe, uh, like a small suitcase, like a suitcase that you would 
take online, like on as a carry-on. Look at that. Full of pictures. And it was, it took me about six hours and I ended up with just over 6,000 photos. So I was able to scan 6,000 photos an hour. I'm sorry, a thousand photos an hour. And those photos I didn't fix. So when I say that it took me, that is simply going through, you can get 50 at a time, you save them. Once you save them, you can't edit them again through this program, because this program is specifically for this uh, scanner itself. So once you save them, you have to use your own scanning process. But it, it's, uh, so that I just scanned, because those were in a lot better shape than these are. Here's one more that I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to jump off here because I've got a lot of work to do. Unfortunately, we just had a, a death in our family and of course the the person who scrapbooks is is the ones that get gets has to get all the photos and everything ready. So that's what I'm doing. And look at that, just amazing. And I'm going to see if I can I mean, these photos, again, like I said, I, just, I scanned, these are the photos. They're all in, oh, here's that photo there. So, hold it up against the screen so you can see. It's kind of hard to see because it's a really dark photo, but definitely a lot better than the, the original here. And again, I want to show you this one. This is what just blows my mind because that one compared to this one. I mean, this this one on the screen looks like it was taken, you know, recently, like a kid's school photo. And that's just a, a huge difference between this and this. So I will link it below. The scanner, amazing scanner, quickly, quickly scans uh, photos for you. And then you can use this amazing pro program to edit your photos as well. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys and encourage you guys to pick up this scanner. It is definitely a scanner that I really enjoy and a purchase well made. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that you have a scrappy day.